Hey, Nathan here. Welcome back to another video that discusses game math. In this video, I'm going to discuss the algorithm and mathematics behind rectangular collision detection. And we used rectangular collision detection as a fast initial test to see if one object collides with another. There's a lot of false positives by using rectangular collision detection which we'll get into later when we discuss per pixel collision detection. But rectangular collision detection is a very fast way to tell if one sprite intersects with another sprite. All right, so I'm gonna bring up two rectangles here. There's one and there's another one. This is A, this is B. Okay. So you and I know that there's a rectangle collision here. You, we know it because we can see it and we pretty much know that they collided. So the most difficult thing to, in terms of creating algorithms and understanding things is a, it's very difficult to s convert something so simple as yes there's a rectangular collision detection to why is there a rectangular collision detection so if you're ever in a situation like this where you don't know how to test rectangular collision detection but you know that there's a rectangle collision detection by looking at something like this you need to ask yourself, why? Why is there a rectangular collision detection here? What makes these two rectangles collide? So let's look at this and create an algorithm. I'm going to color code my values here in the algorithm. A dot left. is less than b dot right. So at the left of a, that is not a's color, if the left of a is less than the right of b, that is part of the collision. A dot right is greater than B dot left. So here we test to see each side, the left of A and the right of A. A right is here, B left is here. So A right is greater than B's left. So those two conditions are now true. A dot top is less than B dot bottom. So B dot bottom is here. A dot top is here. One more condition. A dot bottom is greater than B dot top. B dot top. So here is B dot top, and here is A dot bottom. So A dot bottom is greater than B dot top. All right, so all four of these conditions have to be met. Now let's do that in uh, gray. 
all must be met. So all must be met. If any of these fails, we can just be done with it. They all have to be true for it to be a rectangular collision detection. So a dot left has to be less than b's dot right. a dot right has to be greater than b's dot left. a dot top has to be less than b dot bottom, and a dot bottom has to be greater than b dot top. We test all four sides for both rectangles. Now this is built into XNA and Monogame and probably a lot of other uh, frameworks out there. But if you want to build it yourself or if you are in a situation where you need to build it yourself, you can use this algorithm. You know, if you need to build your own rectangle class and you want to have an intersect function in there, uh, you can use this algorithm for that. Uh, the let me let me uh, make a note on right, bottom, and yeah. All right, so right and bottom. So right is equal to x or left. That's an F. So left or X plus the width. Bottom is equal to Y or top plus the height of the rectangle. So this, the right and bottom are built into the X and A and monogame frameworks. But if you need to make that yourself, this is the code behind that. Uh, the x or the left side of the rectangle plus the width gives us the right side of the rectangle. The y position or the top of the rectangle plus the height gives us the bottom. Top is the same thing as y and left is the same thing as x. All right, so that is the algorithm, and that is the uh, a quick note on what right and bottom are, and just word usage on which do you use top or y or left or x. They are the same. This is the same thing. All right, so that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm still getting used to Autodesk Sketchbook. I did a few test cases and uh, I messed up on a few of them. So this is the third tutorial I'm doing. Uh, I hope everything's fine. I will probably uh, save this as a picture and put it in the description. I might do that. The reason I went, if anybody's curious, the episode's done if you want to stop here. If anybody's curious, the reason I went from using OneNote to something like Autodesk Sketchbook is that I can change colors on the fly so I can reference uh, several different things. So if I want four different objects, I can have red, yellow, blue, and green. So I can just have those four different objects and I can do something like you saw here where I referenced all of A's values as red and all of B's values as blue. And the actual mathematic like less than, greater than, less than, greater than, they're all black. I'll Probably I'll make this as a PDF file, 
but that will be further down the road. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and then stay tuned for the next one, which is going to be per pixel collision detection. We're going to discuss the algorithm and mathematics behind that. I hope to see you next time.